Hey, Christy. Hi. This video is for you, girl. Um, I'm responding to your um, your video. Um, just wanted to say hey. And um, I look like crap right now. It's real early in the morning. And um, I but I watched your video, and I wanted to say. Um, I, you're not the only one who, like, um, you know, if you stop doing one thing, like, if, if you, for instance, stop self-injuring, you'd pick up another habit of doing a different form of, of, th of something like not eating or overeating or exercising too much or stuff like that. Me... That's me. I would do the same thing. Um, if I don't, if I don't do one thing too much, I do another thing too much. So um, I'm the same way. So um, we're the same, and and um, I'm sure there's other people out there like us as well. So don't feel alone in in that at all. Um, I will say that. Um, it is not right um, that you're cutting on yourself as much as you are. Um, it's just not right. Um, you shouldn't be cutting that much. And you do need to see some help and seek some help and try to find someone to help you. Um, I know it's scary and everything like that, but you do need to find some professional help to uh, help you with that. Um, let's see. And I know recovery scares you and makes you want to cut even more. But maybe if you got into recovery, um, maybe the, the therapist could help you with that. And, um, even though you might cut while you're in therapy, um, maybe they could help you with not cutting as much. Or, you know, um... They have a way of helping you do that. Um, or you could, you know, you're not just going to stop. The therapist is not just going to met. God, I can't say what I try, I'm trying to mean. The therapist, is, the therapist is not going to expect you to just stop cutting altogether right away. Any good therapist is not going to expect that. So what you need to do is you need to find somebody that you trust, like I told you before. And, um, you just, you just need to get help, honey, because you can't be cutting on yourself, like, I think you said, I can't remember how many times you said you cut your, uh, cut your arm, or, um, but that's way too much. I mean, you went to Wendy's when you got, um, something to eat. You drank a couple beers. I mean, I mean, I know you said you drink too much, and you don't want to get in the habit of doing that either. Um, that's not good. That could lead to alcoholism, and you don't want to go down that road. Um, drinking alone is definitely not good. Um, now, ever in moderation, it's it's fine. I was raised in a household where you where you don't drink, and I don't drink, but I, I drink on special occasions and stuff like that. Um, I don't see anything wrong with drinking, but you know, in moderation. But you don't want to drink alone because if you get in the habit of doing that, you'll you'll really have a problem. Um. Now, the taking pills part, eh, I kind of do that myself, so just be careful with that, you know, just make sure you aren't driving and doing doing things like that. Make sure you don't take too many, and make sure, um, just make sure you're not driving, make sure you don't take too many. And I'm not really a good one to talk to you about that because I have a tendency to do that myself. And I know it's wrong. And, um, well, I know it's wrong. 
and I know I shouldn't do it, but I have a tendency to do that, so, um, my words of wisdom on that are just make sure you aren't driving and, um, <laughs> make sure you're alone. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's a hard one and a tough one for me. Um, you said you don't like leaving your house, and I totally understand this. I completely understand this. Um, I don't like leaving my house either. I mean, I don't even like, I don't like going to the store. I mean, I, I don't mind going alone, but I hate going to the store, especially since I'm at my boyfriend. I like him to go with me everywhere. And, um, I hate leaving my home for work. And I always have to make sure that all the doors are... It's where I have OCD. I have to... Obsessive compulsive disorder. I have to make sure everything is locked. And double checked. And double checked. And triple checked. And I can't seem to get out of my house on time for anything. And it's really a pain in the ass. And um, it's like I know everything's okay, but... In, the, in my mind, I'm like, I just fall apart. And um, when I go back to work, I know it's going to be like, excuse me. When I go back to work, I know it's going to be a headache again because I'll, I'll be doing all them freaky things again. And like here at his house, I don't have to worry because like I know I'm safe and I know I'm like, He's here, and he's, like, protecting me, and, like, I don't have to worry about all those things. Um, I just kind of put it in his hands and go from there, and and I don't have to worry about stuff like that. And, um, so I know how you feel not wanting to leave your house, and sometimes when I'm here, I, I don't, when I go home, I don't want to leave my house either. It's like, once I get there, it's like, Okay, I'm here now. I don't want to. I don't want to leave. And it takes motivation for me to leave my house. It's like, okay, now Steve, come and get me because I can't make myself get in my car and drive there. I don't know what the hell it is. I, I can't explain it any better than you can. Um, other than it's just like I can't make myself leave. It's fucked up. It's just weird. But, um, I do hope you, um, try to find a therapist and get some help. It's, it's, it's not normal. And, um, I think you're a normal girl. You just have problems and you need to address them before they, um, get to you and cause you any more problems. And I guess I better go. And, um. You take care of yourself, and thanks for messaging me uh, about the warning t from you know who. I think I have um, taken care of that problem, and um, I will write you a longer letter later. And um, I hope you're feeling better. You said you weren't feeling too good in your video. Um, hope you're feeling better. And I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. And just remember, you can do it. You can recover. It'll just take a little time. Find the right therapist and go from there. And uh, I love you, hon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.